So how did I feel about these nachos as a Mexican? But you can't tell me nothing. So I make the beat. I just took it out the oven. I just threw the duggy when everybody's cupping and I hate skinny jeans because of this uh, very beautiful boxer here as you can see it's uh, made in um, probably Mexico or China or something like that. We are trying the new uh, Taco Bell, um, the Taco Bell, um, I think it's called the Triple Melt Burrito. I was thinking for a second too, I'm like wait what is it called? I didn't know what wow. it's called each actually and my stuff's already falling out of it. This is uh, this is the paper that I won't focus on but the guy that comes in. Um, it's focusing. Disrespectful camera. What? Well, there's someone. Oh, I the film. <laughs> dude, I thought I heard someone, dude. Oh, man, I need to calm down. We're gonna try these burritos first. Um, we're gonna bite it, see how it tastes, and uh, let you know if it's good or not, basically, okay? So, here we go. Hmm. Mm. A lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. That looks nasty. A lot of. <laughs> <laughs> that looks nasty. Oh. <laughs> uh, it does look, doesn't look good. It looks nasty, but it tastes good. And it tastes kind of salty. Mm -hmm. It's probably like 90% salt. There's a little bit of rice. Mm -hmm. There's, um. Dude, how can, let me try to show this. I know it doesn't really look like food. I can't even tell what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Taco Bell should sponsor us. So imitation ground beef, um, some type of nacho cheese sauce, a little bit of rice. I think it's fake rice. And um, all right, guys. So Hector will be right back. Um, we're gonna try this uh, nachos right now in a second. See if they're good. I mean. It looks all right. I mean, it's not the best. I mean, look at that. Look how disgusting that looks. But, oh snap. <laughs> oh, hopefully you don't see that I'm, I think it kind of dropped on this, on this carpet. But, you know, what can we do? I the burrito, I mean, it's pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, it's just, uh, what is it, like ground beef, um, cheese, rice. I think it's like a couple of cheeses in here. I'm not really sure. And, uh, dude, is there like a sauce yeah, in there? That's what it looks like on a spoon. It's disgusting. Except less blurry in person. No? Okay, it's not. But yeah, so. Hmm. 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 It's not too bad, though. It kind of like, uh, is there like a, some type of sauce in here? There is. For one dollar, I mean, it's not bad. It's not too bad for a dollar, I mean. Honest, it kind of feels like. I mean, it kind of tastes like um, you know what any other burrito. Like? Exactly. Does it have? This burrito tastes exactly, almost exactly like that beefy uh, Frito beefy burrito or beefy Frito burrito, whatever yeah. it's called, but without the Fritos. What is this called again? Um, triple melt burrito, I think. Really? Yeah, I think it's uh, just the Frito beefy burrito or that beefy Frito burrito without the Fritos. Does it have like three cheeses? Um, that's what they say. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I wasn't there when they made it, but alright. Well, what's the triple for? No, triple threat. For a dollar, I would eat it again. I mean, it's a it's an okay burrito. Nothing crazy. Nothing out of this world. That's pretty good. Not bad. Wow. Would you buy that burrito again? Mm. Like, I mean, I probably would. I mean, it's for a dollar. It's not bad. The flavor's I eat. Dollar's pretty good. You know, I mean, I'd rather have that than maybe like a bean burrito sometimes. So. Yeah, I have a feeling these nachos will taste Yeah, so. The cheese. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese is solid. It doesn't, it's not even melted no more. These were kind of sitting for like a little while, so it's kind of. I'm sitting for like four or five minutes. It's been a couple days, but nah. But um, I'm not sure if this is cheese or this is mold. <laughs> But yeah, the cheese isn't really that melty anymore because we let it sit like probably like 10 15 minutes. So, now nah, we're still gonna eat it. It's all good. Let's try it on. Well, ta I tasted a piece already and it tastes mm. it tastes better than the burrito. Oh, well, it actually does. Yeah, dude, look at that. What's up, yeah. 
So that's all the cheese. Oh. Um. Mm. Mm -hmm. Describe what your uh, mouth is tasting. When I eat these chips, I feel like I'm back in my country. Um, in Mexico. I mean, they're pretty good nachos. Like, honestly, like, I want to say the nachos are better than the burrito. But, you know, that's just me. I mean, I guess it depends, like, on, you know, the person. But I think Taco Bell needs to, like, I don't know, come up with something more creative. Because this burrito kind of just tastes like nothing special. I mean, it's good, but, you mm know. -hmm. I think it would be good, like a lot better if we would ate them like, like right when we got them. We ate uh, 15, 15 minute old nachos. No, probably more. I don't know, I feel like they've been sitting around for like 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> it probably would taste better, like fresh out the box, yeah. not waiting. Um, you'll probably like them, mm -hmm. you probably won't. There's a study saying that uh, food just tastes better when you're watching something about the mm -hmm. food you're eating. Kind of like, I don't know if you, you ever ate cereal. Uh, and then you were reading the cereal box mm -hmm. as you're eating the cereal. Have you ever done that? Never heard of cereal. No? Oh, you never heard of cereal? Heard. I'm Mexican. Say I've heard that. of cornflakes. Have you heard of cornflakes? I don't know what that is. Um, me either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, didn't even, we didn't even use any of the hot sauces right here. Um, we should have used them. I think it might taste better actually with the hot sauces. Actually, let me try this hot sauce on uh, on some of the nachos. Oh, I forgot. Right I forgot. Like... Alright, I'm going to try it with this, man. Let me see, I think the nachos are kind of, oh dang, it's a big old, a big old, big old piece right here, man. Let me, let me get like one of these harder, more nachos that aren't so soggy. Oh, God. <laughs> straight broken. These nachos are not too bad, but not too good. <laughs> I think that, yeah. that's probably the most accurate. It's not too bad. But it's not. <laughs> you couldn't see your face. This video is, I mean, this video. So the, the food we ate is not too bad, but it's not too good, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm gonna try this with the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, not bad. Mm -hmm. We just tried the new uh, Taco Bell triple melt burrito, and we tried the triple melt nachos. This is the first time we've ever had it. Pretty good, not too bad, you know, not the best. The burrito was whatever. It was aight. The nachos were kind of good. After eating these uh, two items, mm -hmm. I think I'm starting not to like Taco Bell. I mean, would I get them again? Probably so. Is it, what the happened to the sun? The lunar there? eclipse of it. But um, I guess there's not much else to say. If you like Taco Bell, you like Taco Bell, and if you don't, you probably like Food that tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> what were you feeling when you were crunching those nachos in your mouth? Um, what, what thoughts were what thoughts, your mind? Uh, first of all, um, as I was um, eating my uh, soggy nachos, I was thinking I probably should have ate these about 20 minutes ago. First of all, um, second thought that popped into my mind was, is this actually cheese? Or what kind of fungus? is talk about using what i'm hearing is that you really fell in love with these nachos um mm, i wouldn't really i wouldn't actually say that but i wouldn't use those words precisely or at all how did you feel eating taco bell being a mexican if that makes sense i'm not sure if it makes it, sense. it makes it's it's a that's a complex question so how did i feel about these nachos as a Mexican. I felt they were very disrespectful to my taste buds because I expected them to taste tastier. With that said, they were only a dollar. And for a dollar, I gotta say they're pretty good. Just don't leave them out for like 25 minutes because they'll get soggy, um, cause that's what we did. If you liked this video, put a, a thumbs up, you know, a thumbs up. Make sure you, you, subscribe. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it.